In a world veiled in secrets, where ancient echoes whisper through the ages, stand the seven enigmas of the earth. These enigmatic wonders, shrouded in myth and mystique, have enthralled adventurers, scholars, and dreamers for centuries. From the serpentine Great Wall of China to the lost city of Petra concealed in desert sands, from the towering Christ the Redeemer overlooking the realms of Rio to the resplendent Taj Mahal bathed in moonlight, each wonder conceals untold stories, hidden truths, and unsolved riddles. What secrets lie beneath their timeless beauty? Join us as we embark on a journey of discovery, peeling back the layers of history to reveal the captivating and enigmatic world of the new Seven Wonders. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? The Great Wall of China, one of the world's most magnificent architectural feats, is not just a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, but also a monument with a dark and complex history. Beneath its grandeur lies a hidden history of immense human suffering and sacrifice. Building the Great Wall required a massive workforce, including soldiers, peasants, prisoners, and even intellectuals who had fallen out of favor. These individuals faced harsh conditions including extreme temperatures, inadequate provisions, and the challenge of transporting heavy materials over long distances. Tragically, the mortality rate among them was exceptionally high, with estimates exceeding hundreds of thousands. Many were forced into labor as conscripts or prisoners, often leading to separation from their families and homes. For these individuals, the Great Wall represented not a symbol of pride, but one of oppression and despair. The legacy of this suffering is a complex part of the Wall's history. It stands in contrast to the Great Wall's current status as a symbol of Chinese cultural pride and architectural genius. This dichotomy reflects the often complex and multifaceted nature of historical monuments. Transitioning from its historical context to its architectural features, the wall was also a feat of military engineering. It was fortified with numerous secret passages and tunnels designed for strategic military purposes, allowing soldiers to move stealthily, ambush enemies, or store weapons and supplies. Additionally, these hidden paths facilitated communication across different sections and served as escape routes during sieges. In addition to its defensive tunnels, the wall's watchtowers featured concealed floors and compartments for storing essentials like food and arms, along with secret communication systems using smoke or fire signals. Critical to its sustainability, the wall also integrated hidden wells and water sources within its structure, ensuring water availability during extended sieges or guard duties. Despite its imposing presence and formidable construction, the Great Wall of China experienced several defensive failures throughout its history. One of the most significant defensive failures of the Great Wall occurred during the Mongol invasions. In the 13th century, the Mongols, led by Genghis Khan and later by his successors, managed to breach the wall multiple times. This culminated in the eventual conquest of China by the Yuan Dynasty under Kublai Khan in 1271. Advancements in siege technology and military tactics, such as powerful siege engines and gunpowder, eventually surpassed the defensive capabilities of the Great Wall of China. The wall's vast length over diverse terrains also posed significant challenges in effectively manning and maintaining the entire structure, leading to poorly guarded and vulnerable sections. These defensive shortcomings demonstrate that while impressive and daunting, the structure was not infallible. The recent discovery of concealed chambers and passageways beneath Petra, a celebrated wonder of the world in Jordan, has deepened our understanding of the city's architectural intricacy and cultural sophistication. 
modern technologies such as satellite imagery, ground-penetrating radar, and drone photography have been instrumental in uncovering these subterranean aspects in a non-invasive way. The unearthed chambers and tunnels, varying in size and purpose, are thought to be part of Petra's extensive water management system, or used for storage or religious practices. However, a large portion of Petra, particularly its underground regions, remains unexplored. These findings suggest that what has been discovered so far is only a small segment of Petra's hidden features. Continued research could provide more insights into Petra's urban planning and cultural aspects, requiring cautious exploration to preserve its fragile sandstone architecture. This aspect of advanced engineering is also evident in the Sik, the narrow gorge leading into Petra. More than just a geological feature, the Sik is an engineering marvel. The Nabataeans ingeniously transformed this 1.2 kilometers long canyon into an effective and sophisticated water conduit system. Within the Sik, the Nabataeans built a complex water channel system featuring terracotta pipes and carved channels to transport water from springs to the city. Additionally, they crafted advanced flood control measures including dams and diversion channels to shield Petra from flash floods. These innovations were specifically designed to redirect floodwaters, safeguarding the city's structures and residents. The water system in the Sik is a testament to the Nabataeans' expertise in hydraulic engineering, crucial for sustaining life in one of the most arid regions of the world. Yet, this might just be the tip of the iceberg, as Petra continues to guard secrets of the Nabataeans' ingenuity, possibly revealing even more astonishing discoveries in the future. Perched high on Rio de Janeiro's Corcovado Mountain, the Christ the Redeemer statue is an iconic symbol of peace and Christianity. Initially conceived by Brazilian engineer Hader da Silva Costa, the statue's original design differed significantly from the final version. Early sketches depicted Christ holding a globe and a cross. The shift to outstretched arms carried profound symbolic meaning, symbolizing peace, welcome, and embrace. Yet, beneath its towering grace, lies an unexpected vulnerability. Positioned in a region frequently visited by thunderstorms due to its height, this masterpiece inadvertently serves as a natural lightning rod. In a gripping incident from January 2014, a lightning strike scarred the statue's right thumb, thrusting its vulnerability into the global spotlight. Hidden within the statue is a narrow, winding staircase and internal passages granting access to maintenance crews for inspections and repairs. This passage network is mostly concealed from the public, reserved for maintenance and conservation personnel. Christ the Redeemer, a timeless global icon, transcends borders and stands as a symbol of faith, hope, and unity. Machu Picchu, the ancient Incan city in Peru, remains a captivating enigma. Theories propose it may have served as a ceremonial site, a royal estate, an administrative center, or a military stronghold, given its defensive features. Its expansive terraces suggest advanced agricultural practices, potentially doubling as a testing ground for crops. Moreover, the presence of the Inca Trail implies a pilgrimage aspect. Nevertheless, the precise purpose of this remarkable site remains elusive, continuing to be a topic of research and debate due to the absence of definitive historical records. Intriguingly, amidst this enigma, Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the Inca civilization's profound knowledge of astronomy. Key structures, such as the Intihuatana Stone and the Temple of the Sun, are meticulously aligned with solstices, directing sunlight during pivotal moments. Similarly, 
the sun gate aligns perfectly with the summer solstice sunrise. Beyond mere ceremony, these alignments served a critical role in agricultural planning, emphasizing the Inca's exceptional combination of astronomical precision and architectural prowess. Machu Picchu's construction is absolutely fascinating. The Incas employed a remarkable building technique known as ashlar masonry. With great skill, they shaped stones into uniform square and rectangular blocks, fitting them together with astonishing precision, all without the need for mortar. This ingenious method not only showcased their architectural mastery, but also allowed the stones to adapt during earthquakes without posing any harm to the structure. It's one of the secrets behind Machu Picchu's enduring charm. Moreover, alongside their skillful masonry, the Incas thoughtfully designed doorways, windows, and niches with a clever trapezoidal shape, wider at the base and narrowing at the top. This architectural choice not only enhanced stability during seismic events, but also effectively distributed stress, significantly reducing the risk of collapse. But wait, there's more to be amazed by at Machu Picchu. Its water engineering is a testament to the Inca's incredible ingenuity in hydraulics and their beautiful integration with the environment. They channeled mountain spring water through aqueducts, supporting agriculture and erosion control on terraces. Interconnected fountains displayed their water manipulation skills, while a well-designed drainage system shielded the city from heavy rains. This efficient water management system highlights the Inca's expertise in balancing functionality with environmental preservation. Chichen Itza, an ancient Mayan city in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, has long fascinated historians and archaeologists. Its grandeur, marked by towering pyramids and intricate carvings, hints at a remarkable past. Yet, beneath the surface, it conceals secrets that continue to mystify. One of the most significant structures at Chichen Itza, highlighting Maya astronomy, is the Caracol, a circular building on a large platform resembling a modern observatory. Its windows and doors are strategically aligned with the movements of celestial bodies, particularly Venus, which was of great importance in Maya cosmology. What's more, many structures at Chichen Itza, including El Castillo, which we'll discuss shortly, intentionally align with specific astronomical events. These orientations aren't random, they're carefully planned to match solar and lunar cycles. For example, the corners of the pyramid are aligned with the sunrise and sunset at the solstices. The advanced astronomy of the Maya and their skill in seamlessly incorporating celestial events into their architecture and calendar systems exemplify a level of sophistication that continues to elicit deep admiration among modern scientists and archaeologists. Now let's delve into El Castillo. It's a step pyramid with square terraces and stairways on each of its four sides leading to the temple at the top. Interestingly, this pyramid is a reflection of the Mayan calendar. Each side boasts 91 steps, totaling 365 steps when you include the top platform, matching the solar year. But here's the real magic. During the vernal and autumnal equinoxes, something truly extraordinary happens. The northwest corner of the pyramid casts triangular shadows on the northern side's western balustrade, creating the illusion of a feathered serpent, Kukulkan, or Quetzalcoatl, gracefully descending the pyramid. This incredible event attracts thousands of visitors each year. Right in the heart of Rome, Italy, proudly stands an enduring symbol that has enchanted the world for centuries, the Colosseum. What hidden stories does this ancient marvel hold within its colossal walls? Beneath the Colosseum's arena floor lay the elaborate Hypogeum, a two-level underground network of tunnels and cages. The design showcases a network of corridors and cells, efficiently directing animals, gladiators, and scenery to the arena. 
Its most remarkable feature was a sophisticated system of lifts and hoists with around 36 trapdoors in the arena floor, allowing for dramatic entrances into the arena. The Roman Colosseum seating arrangements were a distinct reflection of the rigid social hierarchy of ancient Rome. The best seats, located in the podium area closest to the arena, were reserved for the emperor, his family, and Roman dignitaries, showcasing their status and proximity to power. Special seating areas were also designated for the Vestal Virgins and the Senate, emphasizing their esteemed positions in society. The middle tiers were occupied by ordinary Roman citizens, with the seating divided according to wealth and social standing. In stark contrast, the highest tiers, offering the least desirable views, were reserved for women and the lower class, including slaves. This placement not only reflected the social and gender segregation of the time, but also the patriarchal nature of Roman society. The Taj Mahal, located in Agra, India, stands as a timeless symbol of love. It was commissioned by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who tragically passed away during childbirth. Deeply affected by her loss, Shah Jahan embarked on the monumental task of creating this magnificent mausoleum in 1632. Over nearly 22 years, thousands of skilled artisans poured their craftsmanship into its construction. The use of immaculate white marble coupled with the detailed design embodies the profoundness of his love and the sincerity of his grief. The Indian icon is aligned perfectly with the solstices. During the summer solstice, the sun appears directly above the dome, and during the winter solstice, it aligns perfectly with the main gateway. The changing light patterns during the solstices also add to the dynamic nature of the monument, showcasing its ability to reflect different moods and appearances throughout the year. The Taj Mahal mesmerizes with its changing hues, adding to its mystique. At dawn, it wears a warm pink, symbolizing hospitality. As the day unfolds, it transforms into a radiant white, signifying purity. In the evening, a golden glow infuses it with splendor. Under the moonlight, it adopts a serene silver or blue, particularly during full moons, while monsoons cast a reflective gray mirroring the mood of India's rains. These dynamic colors are not only visually captivating, but also represent varying emotions and life stages. As we reach the end of our expedition into the secrets of the new seven wonders of the world, we're left with a profound sense of wonder and respect for the achievements of those who came before us. This journey has not only been about marveling at these architectural feats, but also about embracing a profound responsibility to cherish and pass on the rich tapestry of our shared heritage. The unwavering fortitude of the Great Wall of China, Petra's masterful stonework, and Chichen Itza's celestial harmony are testaments to human potential when fueled by ambition, skill, and tenacity. We stand as guardians of these narratives, charged with the duty to ensure their stories continue to enlighten and embolden the generations to come. If these historical explorations have piqued your interest, we'd be absolutely thrilled if you could show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. We can't wait to unveil even more remarkable discoveries together. See you in our next video.